Hey guys, what's up? Hey Vern, we were just talking about what we learned today in class. As part of the history lesson, we were able to sign up for genetic testing. Today we got our results back. That's cool, what did they say? I am mostly mammoth and my ancestors originated in Africa. And I am bits and pieces of guinea pig and hamster. Do you know where you come from, Vern? No, not really, but I do want to learn. Try going on Ancestry.com. Maybe that will help. Okay, thanks, guys. I'll see y'all guys later. Well, if there's no information on Ancestry, I guess I have to look for myself. Tomorrow I'm going to get some answers. Paleontologists could dig up the past, so I came to see you for help. I see. Poor little Testodyne. Well, I can't help you with everything, but I'll tell you all I know. What could I help you with first? Um, well, how did I come to be the way I look today? Well, your species is classified by specific traits or derived characters. What are derived characters? Derived characters are traits that arose from the most recent common ancestor from a particular lineage that led to you. These derived characters that classify the turtle include the shell, the hardened skull, the positioning of the limb girdles, and the absence of teeth. I didn't used to have a shell? That's right. And the shell arose from a process called natural selection. Natural selection? Natural selection occurs when adaptations or traits that help an organism survive in a specific environment are passed on from generation to generation. Over time, the shell formed from the fusion of the rib cage in your ancestors, and because the shell is a good defense mechanism from nasty predators, the shell passed on to your ancestors' offspring. Cool. I didn't know ribs could make a shell. Based on fossil evidence, your great-great ancestor was a species of lizard with broad ribs. These ribs later evolved a broader T-like structure. A sister taxa of this ancestor is the Unutaosaurus. After this, the spine of the ancestor and expanded ribs fused through ossification, or when the bone cells, called osteoblasts, are laid down to form bone tissue. An example of a species with this characteristic is the odontocheles. Finally, the shell got the shape we see today when the bone tissue expanded and enclosed the scapula within the shell. There's lots of variety in the way shells look, but evolutionists believe turtles have not changed too much since two million years ago. Wow, well, that's a long time. So who are my cousins that aren't dead? Your sister Taxa? Well, the fossil record shows that your closest living relatives are the Lepidosaurs, or the snakes and lizards. But geneticist Dr. Robin would say otherwise. I think you should go visit her. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Ariana. You have a great day. You too. Sent me. I'm looking for some help regarding my ancestry. Sure, what are your questions? Well, I'm trying to figure out who my closest living ancestor is. Do you know anything about that? Yes, to help you find who your closest living ancestor is, geneticists look for homology on the genetic level. What is homology? Homology is the existence of shared ancestry 
ancestry between a pair of genes or structures. How does it work? We compare homology of sequences of DNA that code for ribosomal RNA. If we see that there are a lot of mutations or differences in the sequences, then they are not closely related. So the less mutations we see, the more closely related they are. Yes. Has there been any studies conducted on the homology of my genes? Actually, there have been. Within the last two years, molecular testing was done where researchers combined amino acid sequences of 12 RNA strands. What did the results show? The results gave evidence to support the relationship between turtles and archosaurs, which are birds and crocodiles, and then further testing was done. What kind of research? Um, this was nuclear testing, and this gave evidence to support that your closest living ancestor is a crocodile. Really? Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. I know who my cousins are. Thank you so much, Dr. Robin. No problem. Unfortunately, that's all the information I can give you, but if you want some more answers, you should go to the head of our bio department. All right, thank you so much again. No problem. Dr. Robinson, may I take a seat? Yes, sure. Dr. Robinson sent me to find out more information about my ancestors. What can I help you with? I'm looking for answers regarding my ancestry, knowing why I have the features I do. Well, we don't know exactly why, but we believe you lost your temporal holes in your skull as your ancestors changed. Take a look. Paleontologists used to believe that turtles came from anapsida, or skulls without holes. The geneticists believe that your ancestors is really a diapsid, or a creature with two holes in its skull. So which one are we? Through more research, we now know that turtles were diapsid. And because we know they are diapsid, paleontologists like Dr. Ayana were able to hypothesize that the turtles are closely related to reptiles that gave rise to lizards and snakes. Geneticists like Dr. Robin believe that turtles are diapsid as well, but disagree on the sister taxa. What else can you tell me about my ancestry? Well, data's not conclusive, and there's not much information I can tell you regarding your ancestry. But every day, new evidence is being discovered. Okay. Hopefully soon, I will learn more about my ancestors. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. See you. Bye. Hey! Hey! How's it going? Did you ever find out any information about your ancestry? Yes, I do not know exactly where I come from, but I have a pretty good idea now. And I think I know how to help those researchers. What are you going to do? I'm going to become a biologist. After meeting with those scientists, I learned that science isn't always concrete. Research may take years to complete, but the results are so rewarding. I'm going to help find information on my ancestry, and I'm going to share it with the world. That's awesome, Vern. I'm glad you found your calling. Me too. at the waterfront village with my friend the zombie Jonathan you're looking good Jonathan just got an awesome face paint job what do you think I like turtles 